What's up everybody? This is Adrian Boysell, and thank you for tuning in to another Adrian Graphics and Marketing video. If you wanna make money online, you are in the right spot. The last two weeks I covered a lot, but this week we're gonna go even more in depth and we're gonna talk about brands. Now I've talked about brands a lot on this channel and there's tons of videos you can see. I'll put one up in the description above right here at this moment, but there's an important topic when it comes to your brand that I want you to think about when it comes to starting a new online business. There are two types of brands that you can start. Number one is starting a brand or revolving around you, your persona, your personal name, your first and last name. Like I have my own personal brand, Adrian Boysell. You can go to adrianboysell.com and see what I'm talking about. It talks about my expertise, my background, my history, has some videos, things like that. So you can create a personal brand and then you can create a business brand. Now, depending on the niche that you picked and what kind of who, what, why, and how that you have, you are going to either pick a personal brand or you're gonna pick a business brand. Now you can do both, but I would encourage you to start with one or the other. It's very important to stay focused and to not go too wide and cast your net too wide in the beginning. So if you're building your personal brand and the problems that you're solving is more of a consultant or an artist or a designer or a freelancer or something more along the gig area, then I would probably create one under your personal name. Now, if you're going to create something that's bigger than yourself and you feel like you've created a software or some sort of solution or sort of some brand that you can make that's bigger than yourself, then you're going to want to create a business brand. Now, the two of those look completely different in terms of the way that they're communicated visually, but on a fundamental content level of the who, what, why, and how, and how you're going to create your content and how you're going to position yourself, your brand is going to look different as a business than it will look as you. So I wanna make sure that you understand some of these basic principles and that you build a brand that is authentic to you, your core values, and your business. So we're gonna create a brand that's based around your business. Let's just use that for a start. And the business brand you're gonna come up with, you're gonna need a few things. The first thing you're gonna need is a domain name. If you don't have a domain name, you need to go find one right away. Coming up with a clever domain name nowadays with a .com is very, very hard to do. So try to keep it simple and try to keep that domain name short. It's important that you have a short, memorable domain name for your business brand. The second thing you need to think about is your logo. What is your logo going to look like? What is that gonna to communicate to your potential target audience? It's important that you have a logo that is clean, that is simple, and that is memorable. Very important that you have that. Then you're gonna take your logo and you're gonna to need to understand what kind of logo you're gonna design. What style is it? Is it a logo mark? Is it like the Doritos logo? Is it like an attorney logo? Depending on the niche that you're in, you can find other logos for examples and you're gonna to have to do some research. That's part of creating a great band is looking at the research and looking at what other people are doing out there and doing it better. You gotta put your own unique personality. So the colors, the look and feel, the logo mark, the font style that you use, these are all different ways. Now you can create a hand-drawn logo, but one of the things you should be taking into consideration is your logo should not have any photography or multiple colors in it, anything more than three or four colors. If you start to make it too busy and too colorful with too many effects, it's gonna make it blend in with everything else and it's not gonna really stand out. So what I do, what I tell clients to do, is when you're creating a logo, whether it's even for your personal brand even, is you wanna create something that's simple and that's memorable and start it off in black and white. If you can get a logo concept down that looks great in black and white, then when you translate that into color, it's gonna look even more amazing. Okay, so if you remember, we talked about having a who, what, why, and how. Well, part of that is creating your mission, and every brand should have a mission. So when you go to create your brand, you need to create your mission statement, what problems are you solving, and how do you plan on fixing them? It's that how. The next thing you're gonna talk about is your vision statement. What is your vision? What is your short-term vision? What is your long-term vision? What do you want your company to be about? Where do you see your company being in five years? Do you work remotely? Do you work in an office? Are you gonna hire a bunch of employees? Are you gonna do subcontracting? What does your company look like? So writing down your vision for your brand is very important as well. I wanna make sure that you have a clear defined brand with a mission statement, a vision statement. Those are two really important factors of creating a brand. All right, so next is your target audience. Now, remember in the first video we talked about who. So now that you have that who information, you can use that to target your target audience and actually put all the variables, all the problems, all the things that they're facing in there and start to define and bring that in even narrower. 
So now one of the biggest things with creating a great brand is having a hyper focus. Okay, who are the first initial people that are gonna see my brand, that I can solve problems for, that are gonna give me great reviews, that aren't gonna be a hassle to work with? Because the last thing you wanna do is work with a company that is gonna be a nightmare client. Nightmare clients are so terrible. I'm telling you, I had a lot of them in the very beginning of my career because I didn't know how to say yes to the right people and no to the wrong people, okay? The next thing is your reputation. You need to write down what do you want to be remembered by? What is gonna be your reputation in the marketplace? Do you wanna be the high-end company? Do you wanna be the low, cheap-end company? You can be fast, you can be high level of service, and you can be quality, but you can't be all three. You need to pick what type of company, what type of reputation you wanna build. Do you wanna be the highest quality service and doing it the fastest, or do you wanna be the lowest quality service and doing it the best? It's totally up to you. You gotta do what feels right to you, and that's very, very important. Okay, the next thing you're gonna be worried about is your printed materials and your online materials. Now, your printed materials can be trade show displays, signs, banners, your storefront. There's all kinds of things business cards that are all part of your printed materials. You need to make sure that those printed materials match with your online materials, that they actually talk about the problems, that they have an objective towards them, that they're not just creating something just to create something. Now with your online materials, it's very important you understand the different channels online that you're gonna be using your brand on. You have social media, you have your website, you have your emails, you have videos. There's all types of places where you're gonna be using your brand online, and it needs to be looking the same all across the board. It's important to have a cohesive look for your brand, especially when it comes to a business, because you don't want somebody confusing you with somebody else. The more consistent you look, the better that's gonna be long-term. Now the last one, and this is like one of my favorite parts, is your archetype. Everybody and every brand, personal or business brand, has an archetype. There are a bunch of different types. What kind of archetype are you? Now, I'm gonna read off just a couple of them for you to give you an example. You have the innocent, the orphan, the hero, the lover, the creator, the jester, the caregiver, the explorer, the rebel, the sage, the magician, and the ruler. Ruler is a good example as Donald Trump. The innocent is Frodo from Lord of the Rings. Those are just a couple examples. And you can type this in on Google and type in character archetypes, and you can see the 12 different character ar archetypes. Now you wanna pick a primary and a secondary. It's important to have two different archetypes within your brand because you're gonna mainly appeal to the one that is your main one. Like I am the, the caregiver and the lover is my secondary. Okay, the caregiver, I wanna care for people, I wanna help people, I wanna lift people up, I wanna see them break free. Okay, and then the lover, I love people, uh, I wanna, I wanna share my story, I wanna hear their story, I wanna pour into them. They, they very much match, but I also have two. So you wanna make sure that you understand both of those, that you can pick one primary, and then what your secondary is, and that character should remain consistent all throughout everything you're doing. Now jumping over really quickly before we hop over is your core values. Core values is a really huge area that a lot of companies miss. What is important to you? What are the things that you live by? Showing up on time, being a leader, inspiring others, being grateful, being fair, being trustworthy. These are all core values, and these are all things you're gonna wrap into your brand, you're gonna say on your website, you're gonna say in your marketing materials, you're gonna say in your videos, you're gonna say in your emails. Everywhere you go, you are going to share these core values with people, okay? Super important for you to understand this and to really take this to heart because core values are something that I live by, it's something that your clients are gonna live by, and your core values are gonna attract the type of people that you wanna work with. Okay, now let's get into your personal brand. Now your personal brand is just you. Who are you as a person? What is your story? Where did you come from? What are some of the challenges that you face in your life? What are some of the achievements that you face in your life? These are all things that you can write up. Having a really good resume, having reference letters about you as a person, these are all things that you can do to build authority, to build credibility, and to build your reputation as a personal brand. Now, as you know, starting an online business is very important. The very important piece of this is actually generating traffic. So whether you're generating traffic to your personal brand or you're generating traffic to your business brand, it's all gonna be the same strategy. The only difference between those two is actually what type of traffic you're generating. If you're gonna do something more on your personal brand, you're probably gonna be using Facebook. You might even be using Instagram. You can do the same thing on, on business brands with Facebook and Instagram, but it's much more powerful to do a personal brand on sites like Facebook and Instagram because they're much more personalized. Now, if you're going to do a business brand, it's important to use LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a great platform to do that. Google My Business and posting to your Google My Business. There's also other platforms like uh, Snapchat, which 
is another personal brand one, but there's also other platforms that you can utilize for your business brand to really get the word and message out there. But the main one is going to be organic SEO for your business brand. You're gonna be writing content on your blogs. You're gonna be creating content on YouTube. These are all areas where you can build out your personal and your business brand. But specifically with your personal brand, YouTube is a really, really strong one. So I've been building these YouTube videos on my business brand because I'm trying to build a brand for Adrian Graphics and Marketing as the leading best digital marketing agency in the country. Not only are we the best because of the level of service that we provide and the attention that we give to, the, to our clients, but it's also the team that we have and the people that are behind that, the human element. This is very important to a business brand that you have a human element behind it. You're not just some corporate stale pharmaceutical type of company, you have a real brand behind you. So these are all things that I consider when building a brand for my business. These are all things that you need to consider when building a personal brand and a business brand. Now here's one of the biggest secrets that most people don't talk about. Consistency. Consistency and quality. Being Giving good quality content and being consistent about that good quality content is super important. Just like these videos. I've been making these videos now for the last four months consistently three times a week. It has not been easy. In fact, I've told mentors and friends of mine, man, this is so hard to do. I don't know how I'm gonna keep this up long term. But the reality is I had to check myself and I told myself this, this one thing that was really important to me. It's not gonna get easier, I'm just gonna get better. And so in the beginning, as you're starting a new online business, your mindset is so important, and you need, to, you need to remember that whether you have a personal brand or a business brand, being authentic and being transparent about your struggles and your strengths is important. And you gotta understand that it's not going to get easier, you are just going to get better. The better you get, the easier it will get. That's what I mean by that, is that the process isn't gonna get easier over time. It's not about simplifying it and making it less quality. It's about increasing the quality over time and getting better at what you do. So that is my encouragement to you, is to have the right mindset going into this, to understand that it's gonna take time and patience to build these brands. It's not gonna happen overnight. It's through consistency, hard work, and providing real value in the marketplace. Now remember, Forget, don't forget to include calls to action in all of your branding. Every single part of your brand, whether it's just schedule a call with me and however that branding and that call to action looks in your branding, you need to remain consistent across all your platforms. So if you're gonna be promoting your YouTube channel, then make sure all of your social platforms on your branding is all the same. Send them to your YouTube channel, have your Instagram to your YouTube channel and your LinkedIn to your YouTube channel and your podcast to your YouTube channel and your website to your YouTube channel. All these things should be going and funneling to the same place. If your call to action is different than going to a YouTube, maybe you're following them to your website. So have your Instagram and your Snapchat and your Facebook and your TikTok all funneling to a landing page to a landing page on your website. So this is what I wanted to share with you today. I know it's a little bit longer than my normal videos, but I felt like it was a really important to hammer in that your branding is essential to starting an online business because people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. And the branding is part of that, of understanding who you are, why you're doing it, what your mission is, what your vision is, what you look like visually, and really building that connection to your potential clients. That's what branding is about, is about building connection, building relationships and building an affinity and attracting people that think just like you think. You wanna work with people like you. I wanna work with people like me. The people that I'm making this video for are people just like me. They're fellow creatives, they're web designers, they're digital marketers, they're entrepreneurs, they're business owners. Maybe they're even at risk youth. So it's important that you attract those people. It's important that you be authentic to who you are. You don't need to try to chase everybody, just like the dog chasing one car. He's focused on one car. There's tons of cars going by, but he's focused on the one car. Focus on the one car, focus on the one kind of client and get really laser focused and you'll have an incredible amount of success. So I hope that helps you guys, brings you some more clarity on your brand. I have more of this information that I'll put in the description of this video and I have other videos that I'm gonna link in this video. So make sure you watch other videos that I got on branding. There's a whole playlist about branding. You can really hone your skills if you need more help. And if you have a question, just drop me a comment. I'd be happy to help you out. I need your like, I need your love, I need your support. So if you love this video, make sure you smash the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And as always, keep looking up.